everybody, Grit21 back with another tutorial video. And today we're going to be talking about uh, Vegas Pro 14 and how to apply a lookup table color grading effect for your video. Um, now to do this, uh, to do this, you will need to have uh, Vegas, or sorry, uh, HitFilm Pro or HitFilm uh, Express installed as HitFilm naturally has a LUT effect built into its software that Vegas uh, sees and can use. So if you don't have HitFilm Express, you should totally go check it out. It is a very good software and it's very much on par with Vegas. Um, and in fact, I think the two of them were kind of designed to work together in some ways because of the amount of things you can do in that software. But we're not going to be focusing on that one. We're going to be focusing on this one today. So um, how I was able to come up with what we're going to do. I've been doing a lot of research about how to do color grading. And I wanted to uh, just experiment with the classic orange and teal, also known as a cine uh, cinematic uh, color grading. And it has a couple of different terms on the internet as well. And... I think I found a very simple way of doing it in Vegas. Uh, just the only thing that you'll need is, of course, some version of hit film uh, for the sake of it having the LUT effect built into it, which, of course, I said Vegas can read. Uh, anything else that I've tried, either downloading a plugin or looking for a plugin for, uh, just it was too much work. And I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna, just going to come up with something simple. And I have. So. Uh, what we're going to be working with today is my Cinematic Park video, which was posted a couple, I think a couple years ago, actually, on my YouTube channel. You guys may have seen it. And in that one, I had a very, I applied Sin style to that and gave it a very old, like, movie feel effect. But today, we're just going to uh, make it look a little different than, than it is on the channel. So, uh, basically, I've uh, once you have gotten all your footage set out, and it's sequenced the way you want. Um, you're going to now take all of that wonderfully sequenced video, and you're going to do a copy paste from the bottom timeline to the top timeline as you will make a second video track. Uh, this will be done because we're going to do some compositing effect. So I'm going to go ahead and unmute my effect. I don't have my LUT applied as I wanted to do this completely from scratch to show you guys how to do this yourself. I just did a save to make sure that um, we have this saved as we go. So what we're going to do is you're going to go to the track uh, FX, and we're going to look for the hit film LUT. And we're going to click Add. Now, when you click Add, it's going to say Unable to Find File. Now, first of all, that's okay. It's going to do that because there's no file. There's no reference file for it to find, so that's perfectly normal. Don't worry about it. Now there's a website that we'll put in the link, uh, put a link to in the description box that has some free uh, LUTs you can download, and I found quite a few that were very nice. And one of them was a teal and orange a 3D LUT effect. This is a .cube file, and this is important because that is the file type that uh, that this plugin is able to read. I don't know if we could read other types of LUT effects, and there's other ways of doing it, but this is a one way to do it, of course. So we're gonna go ahead and open this, and you'll notice right away, bam, my LUT effect is immediately read by Vegas. Now, you're probably thinking, oh cool, we're done, but not quite yet. Uh, the reason why is because um, the, I like the footage underneath. It's very, very green. It has it still has a lot of the richness, especially when we go into the sun flare effect. You'll notice how bold that that sun flare is and how bright it is and stuff. And I don't want to lose too much of it, as you can see the extremes from one to the other. So to solve this problem, what we're going to do is we're going to add a, a composite level. And what we're going to do is now uh, base... This is just for my video. Your video is going to be different on how you do it. Uh, for me, I found for this particular video as a whole, surprisingly, it actually did work for it as a whole. Um, I applied a composite level of around 65, 64. It's not that much uh, difference um, as well as far as the, <laughs> the range I put it in. But essentially... Uh, this is a level that I found was the best for this video, and you'll notice the um, uh, 
uh, the differences just in that small bit of compositing where I get to keep a lot of my green while still uh, having a very bold, uh, I guess, I guess, as it says, a very bold teal and orange effect. I feel like I'm saying bold a lot for some reason, but it is. It's, it's what the effects, or that's what the LUD is called. So um, that's kind of basically it, honestly. Now, uh, the thing about LUTs is that you'll have to adjust your LUT setting based, based on how your video is going uh, further down the timeline as I scrub through. So for these couple scenes, it looks pretty good. But if I get down to here, um, it doesn't look quite as good. And I feel like that I could do some more better compositing. So what I'm actually going to do is, and this is why I said to use the, the composite envelope. Because we're actually going to go ahead, I'm going to increase this. Uh, we're going to apply a marker to, the, to our endpoints like so. Apply here and here. We're now going to pull up the LUT effect, we're going to snap it so that it immediately cuts to our effect. So go from a 63% to 100%. So as I play this, it goes right there and it, you couldn't tell that the composite level changed. And this is important because it will create very smooth transitions as you go along. So it plays through this scene, then bam, back down to our 63%. And then further along, still looks pretty good. And then maybe along here, I might change that. I still can't believe I got that deer shot, by the way. Um, now, I did some other stuff to this to this particular video I won't talk about right now. Um, but it does look really good for what it's worth. Um, but essentially, that is how you apply a LUT effect in Vegas Pro 14 by using the HitFilm LUT plugin. So I hope this video was helpful. If you did not understand something in this video, um, go ahead and comment below and I will do my best to answer it the best I can. Um, I think honestly for the amount of research that you may end up putting into how to apply a LUT effect, this is probably the easiest way of doing it. Um, I know it requires, it's kind of frustrating, I know it requires an extra piggyback sort of uh, plugin to use. But unfortunately, natively, Vegas does not have a LUT plugin built into it, which is unfortunate. I do hope Magix decides to incorporate that in their software at some point down the road. But for the sake of while we're waiting, this is the next best thing I could think of to make it easy. And honestly, you know, it never... Having an extra track layer really is not a bad thing as a whole because, of course, you don't have to touch your underlying video and you can adjust your, your effect track, if you will, for other types of things like timed color grading or perhaps, um, you know, different composite levels of, uh, like, for example, I did a superimpose of a light rays effect, which actually that is not how that original video looked like. I kind of cheated, actually. So, um, you know, that it's not, it's, it's not a bad thing to have that be, uh, you know, have that sort of have a effects layer and a, and a baseline layer of sorts. So it, it, it kind of works. It, it honestly does. So anyway, um, thank you again. And if you have any questions, as I said, please comment below. If you also wish to tweet at me directly, um, I usually can sometimes reply to tweets, um, you know, within a reasonable amount of time span. You can tweet me at josh underscore grid 21, and I will try to answer you best I can on Twitter within the 140 character limit. Um, and of course, check out my live streaming on twitch.tv forward slash grid 21 as well. Um, and until then, I will catch you guys later, and thank you again for watching.